What is up, people? Welcome back to another episode of Omni Factory. I hope everybody's doing all right. I'm doing pretty good now that we got crazy amount of power. Things are going to get a lot easier, meaning that I can start automating with UV instead of ZPM. Although we do need to craft a lot of things for ZPM uh, for UV instead of ZPM. So there, there's uh, like more processors to be crafted and these kind of things. So that that's just the only downside of it. So when you make your machine, it's going to take a little bit longer to do it. Uh, I ended up removing the Phantom Face energy uh, from over here. This one here in the middle comes from the ball of power and it sends power to the other three that we have over here. But mainly uh, this place here should be uh, covered with phantom face if we ever need it. Also, I found out that uh, there is a way to go even further if you want with your ball of power. If you're like me and you have your ball of power away from your base, you might need to travel more than 128 blocks like these uh, phantom energy phase that uh, we have over here. So what you can do is you can have one side of this phantom energy phase having a CEF, which is going to transform it into EU, and then you plug it in the back of a CEU to get back into RF, and then this, you can then go to any place you want, again, 128 blocks away from this one, and connect it, but the thing that you need to know is only the side where the output of the CEU is will have power. So in our case over here, it's the front of the energy phase. So meaning that this over here, now we can do like, let's say Draconic, connect this bad boy over here. This thing now has power. And what I can do is actually disconnect these over here. Uh, these crystals over here so that only the top bit are actually used. So I think this is pretty much the way we're going to go about it. Uh, so if I do this now, these two are disconnected. And now I can take this one and let's say connect to this one over here. And it shouldn't change anything. Everything should have power. But it's, I don't know, just for me, I feel it's a better organization. And yeah, so it's better for me. I have also removed the lag uh, generator over here that we had. And pretty soon I'll just remove these solar panels and put them into the storage. Because, well, let's be honest, they don't actually need to be there. To be honest, let's remove them right away. They actually don't need to be there. Same thing with the ones that are on top of our hanger. Let's also remove cables as they no longer are needed as well. Awesome. Uh, oh, no, that, that one needs to stay. I like it. All right, so we removed this one. Now let's go for the solars. Uh, let's get some concrete just to fill in the holes. Uh, I changed my sensor at the bottom to remove the rain instead of the night because since we don't use solars anymore, we don't really care if it's night or day. We just care if it rains or not because rain is annoying. That is the reason. All right. So now that we did that, there's also another thing we can remove. At the bottom over here, I've got one for power output. So this one is an output. This one is an input. So it inputs into it and this one outputs into there. But there's no longer anything connected to it. It connects uh, to, let's identify it. Right, so it connected to this over here, which this one connected all the way over here to connect to our generator at the top, which is now completely useless. 
we can remove this and that. And if we wanted as well, what we could do is change this energy phantom face to actually export power as well, so that not all connections use the same uh, energy IO crystals, because they can only power 16 million. So in a case like the 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 the, the big modular machines, they can go up to four millions when they do certain types. So yeah, but things are quite awesome. I'm really happy where things are. And I think it's time to look at what's next. So one of the thing is we need to make uh, more of the chaotic fusion crafting injectors. But we also need to automate a couple of the normal uh, crafting injectors to actually do recipes all the time. And I think the ones I'm going to use are here because simply uh, I've decided those are the ones. And uh, yeah, so the big difference is going to be that uh, the chest will receive uh, the item directly, so there's not going to be an ender chest connecting it to the crafting system. Uh, meaning we're gonna don't we won't need the two unpackagers, and simply they're gonna be connected directly. So which one do we need to automate? So if we're going to draconic, uh, there is the fusion crafting for the wyvern core. And there is also the fusion crafting for the advanced dislocators. So those two are really important. And if you remember, we are kind of trying to go for the flux to trusters eventually. And that one actually needs us to uh, automate more things. But there are just one more things that comes into what we need. So it's not actually related to Draconic Evolution. So yeah, these are the two that I want to automate. Um, the other things there might be like the Awaken core, but these are mainly used to make like reactor stabilizer. Uh, we'll see if eventually we might automate this one. It's just that we might need to automate the Wyvern core faster than we automate the uh, other ones if we want to have kind of a backup. Well, this one takes 3 million, while the other one takes 175 million. Uh, sorry, 3 billions and 175 million. So it seems we might have the time to craft a lot more of the Wyvern core by the time we needed to craft the Awaken core. But again, we need four. So if we can craft let's say 5, 15 per times we do the Awaken core, then that means that in the end we get 11 Wyvern core for every craft that we make. Every pattern the Awaken core we make is going to give us also 11 Wyvern core. That's just maths, but it might not all be right. Uh, there's also the, these crazy things. Uh, and there is one thing that I also want to automate. I'm not, not sure if I want to automate it uh, to just get a bunch or want to automate it to craft. But I think we could just do it by crafting simply because it's going to be a lot quicker. But we're going to automate uh, the crystals uh, with AE instead because of an annihilation plate? No, a formation plate. Plane can export items and it can export more than one, which the dropper also does one. So this is kind of the bottleneck when you need to craft like 2000. Well, you, you want to do like a lot at the same time. So these are the plans for today. So let me get some of the materials ready and we'll start doing this. So I was thinking about the atomic reconstructor and the fact that it was away from the base and I really wanted to have it in the base. The only issue with the atomic reconstructor is that the items drop. But then I remembered that you have this little beautiful teeny tiny items that you can use from the Chronic Evolution, meaning that items dropped won't get picked up by your items if they're five blocks away from this. Meaning we can use that, yay, and we're going to use it. All right, uh, let me show you a little bit what I'm thinking of. So we've got eight formation plane to drop as many items as we can. 
Uh, these, of course, will be connected with uh, probably cables behind to get a little bit of power going. And at the bottom, if I can get through, the way I'm powering these two atomic reconstructor is redstone going into a redstone torch, going into a redstone clock to lock them up. And it seems to be working quite well, if you try. So there we go. These two atomic reconstructor are firing and they're going to be able to transform whatever we have over here. Next thing is we kind of need to have the items be exported there. We already had a chest that we were using, so good thing is we can reuse this one. Second thing is we need power. Uh, we're not going to be able to put that one there, but we'll be able to put... Let's say we disconnect that and disconnect this cable as well, and instead we connect them above. As such, now we can put the tiny bit of power because this doesn't need a lot of power. So there we go, we've got a tiny bit of power. And now what we can also do is connect this uh, energy acceptor behind to power the top. And we can also have our chest right there with an interface. Uh, no, storage bus. It's a storage. So a storage bus through the system that only extracts. And over here, we're going to be able to put the items that we want to extract. So. If let's say we wanted redstone, uh, yeah, this thing needs power. Let's get ourselves a little bit of power. And I think the way we're going to go about it is a vibrant thingy. So the vibrant thingy, because that's the correct word, is going to be probably there. And there we go. The, the system seems to take like 20... RF a tick. That is not bad. And I do think that I've got like this one that was connected to this already. So now we can connect it back. And it's 31 blocks, so I can remove two of these. Awesome. So now this, everything connected. And now if I place redstone. Oh. Drop this item. Um, oh, wait, no, wait. This thing is an import, not its import. Okay, now let's put the import boss on top. That there. Okay, there we go. So you see they're being dropped. And it's the beauty of the thing. The only thing I'm a little bit scared of now, it seems to throw them away, like... <laughs> oh, it's, it's not a problem, it can reach. Oh, it's true, nice. Okay, good. That is good. Now that we got that set up, uh, we need to get two things. This is gonna make it that when we pass next to it, it won't grab the items and we need something that actually grabs the items uh, acceleration cards let's see can i oh wait they don't grab acceleration cards what okay card what do you grab uh i wish there was like a stack card <laughs> uh oh formation plane no, this is just going to make it that you can have more. But yeah, so now pretty much we need to put all of these everywhere. And as you saw, they're, they're going to go out quite quickly. Like, if I really make a test for this, um, we're going to need... Oh, yeah, it's kind of the problem. 
Having the dislocation thing, I can't regain any of the items that I grab. Okay, you don't need to be connected, and you either. We're gonna insert, export 15 upgrades. Now, things are perfect. And let's put those. Uh, oh wait, that's where you put the acceleration cards. There we go. And now it did a stack. So this is, this is the plan. So let's say I've got redstone by like a lot. Uh, we won't need any of these soon. So let's get rid of everything and let's just grab like a bunch of redstone. And let's see how long it takes to treat all this. Oh, maybe having multiple formation plane wasn't really useful. <laughs> unless, unless, import acceleration curves. We do have multiple, like, connections. So we could simply add more import. And this is probably going to make it even crazier. So let's try this again. So a bunch of redstone. All right, let's put this. Oh yeah, <laughs> now we're talking. The only thing is you see, uh, they're kind of always using the same one. Eh, it doesn't really matter. I like the way it is. Okay, why are you not exporting? Oh, it's turning it off. It's turning it off because of this. Okay, um... Hmm. I didn't think of that. Okay, uh, please stop. There we go. I did not think of this. We'll do that. Oh, if I just interchange them? Yeah, that, that could work if I just change them. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna need to go pick them up. <laughs> because I can't pick up anything on the top. Okay. So instead, we're gonna put you... Yeah, let's put the, the, the power cable first. Chest there. And this time it's going to insert. Uh, the range collector there. Which is going to extract. I'm not sure if it was just this. No, it was always active. All right. I guess we, we've got to go with one more try. Uh, redstone. I could do blocks as well and change the blocks. Eh. Oh, there we go. They're getting picked up. Awesome. Oh, this thing's not fast enough, even with that. Wow. All right. That's, that's intense. Then uh, I might change that for the connection and things, but yeah, there you go. We got one. I'll make it pretty. That shouldn't be too hard. Okay. I wasn't sure exactly how I was going to do it. So I decided to make one and then we're going to be able to do the other one uh, together. So this is the way I ended up doing it. I know it might be not necessary, but wh what happened here is that we get the items in the chest and the item that goes in the middle goes here. So it gets processed into this. Then it gets sent here to make a pattern and then it gets sent into uh, the unpackager to be able to be made after that. And I think I... I've not put this into the hangar yet. So yeah, we, we need a new place for these. Um, I'm thinking maybe I should remove some doubles and put some quadruples. Uh, so drawers. These are the ones we're going to use. If you didn't know, I'm going to teach you a trick. When you have a board and have like plenty of items that come in, put the key in your off end. And now when you're going to place your drawers, they're going to be locked. 
So that way, no items are going to come into it while you actually do something, uh, while you actually place them. Uh, after that, remove it, because if you right-click with like something that doesn't go in, well, it's going to unlock the chest, and you're going to be stuck in the same boat as you were before. So, all right, let's get some also upgrades for these. Okay, and then we're going to grab you, and we're going to put you there. There you go. So it should start stacking up. Advance dislocator too. And it should also start doing them. So this is pretty good. This thing is automated. The only thing is I might put the sound muffler because <laughs> this sound's going to be to a little bit annoying. I think I've got one over here. So let's try. Let's put it like right there. And do like I don't know, 32 blocks, uh, add recent, so add this one, add recent, add, add recent, fusion complete, add recent, uh, bat takeoff, sure. <laughs> All right, so now are you going to be silent? I'd like you to be silent. Hey, we don't hear anything. Oh, wait, no, we're hearing the bass. Add recent this one. Oh, there's another one. Recent, uh, just the one I did. Why, why did you not? Okay, okay, let's try this again. Come on, be silent. Hey! It works. So yeah, these now are being automated. Awesome. So yeah, I'm I'm not sure if this is the correct way, but eh, it works. So what else can I say? So yeah, what we have is an unpackager. No, two packagers. Yeah, so a packager and a packager there, and a non-packager at the the end. Uh, we're going to have a little bit. Of cabling there. There's a filter in the second unpackager and in the first unpackager to get the correct item in there. Uh, in the case here, the item is the empowered emiratic. So if we look at the recipe, this is the recipe we're making. We're going to do one tiny thing. It's going to be a little bit different for this one. So we're going to have our chest right over here and uh, I cannot do this one yet because well I need to get the pattern for this so empowered grab your block place it there it's going to make your pattern then over here you can do pattern and no not you uh, draconic core and a lava infused crystal block Lava infused crystal block. Compressed. Is it the compressed? Yeah, okay, it's the compressed. So that means two. Uh, we're going to need a draconic core. One, two, three, four. And the uh, star block. Two. These are the blocks that we're waking, we're waking, we're waiting for, not waking for over there and so when they come they're going to start going in there so that should work but we will need to build the actual craft for that one so let's go draconic let's do that let's remove the empowered place that there we place the the package thingy we're saving this and now we can go under to put that into the packager. And there we go. Uh, important thing, this one it says on blocking mode. Same thing on the other side. Uh, <laughs> the unpackager is supposed to fill. Uh, one thing I wanted to check, dragon. Hmm. Okay, so... Alright, we're using it for that. 
though we might need it for that one as well, but eventually we'll have the 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 the, the craftings and stuff like that all done. So it should be fine. I really hate that I need the ultimate because I need a heart. So that means we're gonna need to do double tier eight sending, tier seven, tier eight. But yeah. Okay. So now we got that. Well, this chest needs to have the items. So let's go to the hangar first. Uh, there's one thing that we can do. Oh, I didn't think it was that far. Um. Uh, yeah, okay, so let's try something. Drawer. If I was any brilliant, which I'm going to be in a minute, <laughs> so we're gonna grab that. We're gonna grab a chest. We're gonna grab a conveyor. The highest I have, so 16 stack. We're gonna put you there. We're gonna put conveyor, conveyor. We're gonna grab a filter. We're gonna say go there, and then we're gonna do lava. And you're only going to grab these. Okay. Then, because those are special, you need the tape. And we're gonna do that. Break it. Put it right there. And then this is going to get us the items a lot faster than if you use anything else. Uh, one thing, we're gonna unlock it so that it removes it when it's done. And the reason for this is because we're gonna be able to literally grab the compressed infused lava block straight away. So instead of having to transform them into the compressed version, we just grab them and that's it. So that's gonna be a lot better. And I think I'm gonna put it like right there. And the reason for that is I think it's close enough for me to just grab it from one phantom face from the block itself and put it into a chest. I think. I'm not 100% sure. The other way I did it is I simply had an interface over here that did that. Okay. So, come on. Uh, still half. But yeah, that thing's pretty quick. So it's, it's a good way to transfer. Uh, though, when they're full, they're kind of, they lag. So if they're full, they lag. That, that's the thing I noticed. So I was using them before and they used to lag me. All right, 30,000. Shouldn't be too long. Then you retape it, re-put it back, and you put that one back as well. Oh, yeah. I forgot. You need some upgrades. There we go. <laughs> now that should be better. Yeah, now it's going up. 90,000, 92. Yeah, it, it's a lot quicker when there's space for it. Oh, that also means that this is going to continue to craft. Without a doubt. 100. It does 16, tax, 16 stacks per second. So yeah, pretty quick. All right. And you're empty. So let's grab it back. Ooh, I forgot one thing. Okay, let's grab the other tape because they won't work. I forgot to relock it. If I don't do that, an item is gonna go in there and it's gonna be super hard to relock after. Okay, we put that there. Then this one goes right over here. So that probably mean that you started to act. Yes, it did. Awesome. So this thing's gonna continue to go up and we're gonna be able to grab items from there. Okay, so the items that we need are pretty simple for the one we're trying to make. We're trying to make the Wyvern core and the Wyvern core are the Draconic core, the infused lava crystal block and the block of nether star. Okay. We don't have blocks of nether stars. We do have nether stars somewhere, but eh, let's just add blocks of nether stars. I still have a couple of open, there we go. So tank, uh, I think I can do nether star. Okay, I don't have one, so let's do a tank. 
Um, like I said, I'm pretty sure we have Nether Star somewhere. Yeah, probably you know where we do all the stuff for the Nether Stars, which is somewhere. Oh, there. So it's right under. There we go. We got the Nether Star material. Now we just need to go behind. Put our tank. Put the Nether Star in there. Grab a conduit. Ooh, one thing though. Uh, it's going into this. Eh, okay, there's one spot where we can continue with one. Oh boy, this thing is getting filled up by a minute. Okay. You know one one other thing we could just do? Instead of doing like all of these into there, you can just do Phantom Face. Grab one of these, two upgrade. I think one might be enough. But you place it there, you place your update on it, upgrades on it, you do your insert, and you link it straight to the storage. At first I was scared to link it to the storage because like it's a big storage, so I didn't know how the, the game was gonna gonna take it. So there we go. Boom, that's 44 blocks away. So you do need two, in my case. Alright, conduits. Uh, liquid, there, this thing, port, this thing, insert, what? Okay, oh, yeah, Stup stupid, uh, it inserts liquid, not uh, items. All right, so this should work, awesome. And of course, that means we're gonna need a mold and hammer. I do believe it's on the left. There we go. And boom, this thing is going to make us some of the blocks that we need. Amazing. Uh, eh, let's put it there. It's not really an ingot, so it matches with everything else here. Okay, so as you can see, now we've got that. We need decompressed and we need the draconium core. Let's put those right there. Actually, no. We're gonna do it like the other ones here, except I'm running a little bit out of space. So I guess we're gonna do another line in the front because we can still access the thing so here it's gonna have a stack of death a stack of the compressed and a stack of draconium oh and it also need the empowered do i have that one already somewhere well it doesn't matter we we do need it okay and open sesame. There we go. This thing is going to be able to insert. So we do not have any of the thing. Okay, so let's add them there. Stack of that, a stack of that, a stack of that, and a stack of that. There we go. Now we have it here. So I think. It should be almost ready. Okay. Now that we got the items in here, they went there. Uh, why did you not grab the other thing? Oh, it's making a bunch. Yeah, why is it not... Uh, did I do this correctly? Yeah, it should have been fine. The recipe is too compressed and fused. Oh, it's probably the one wrong one. Hey, right, let's try this. One, two. No. What the heck? Why is it not working?
<laughs> Why is it not going in? It should go in, right? Weaver and core. Oh, and now I worked. <laughs> oh, it did all of those first? Dude, don't prioritize anything. I think it's because I need to do the round robin thingy. There we go. Awesome, we're getting it. Now we can do insert, export. Now this one's also getting it. And putting the items in. And it's crafting. Awesome. So now we've got two of the materials that we will need later on. Well, that we actually need right now. Automated. Awesome. But, guys, that is actually going to be it for today. Uh, finally, showing you this last part took a little bit longer than I anticipated. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. If you really loved it, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you next time. And bring your umbrella with you.